हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इट सेज दैट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ए ऑपरेटर प्रिसिडेंस डिटरमाइंस विच ऑपरेटर इज परफॉर्म फर्स्ट इन एन एक्सप्रेशन विथ मोर देन वन ऑपरेटर विथ डिफरेंट प्रिसिडेंस एसोसिएटिविटी इज यूज वेन टू ऑपरेटर्स ऑफ सेम प्रिसिडेंस अपियर इन एन एक्सप्रेशन ओके लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन दिस क्वेश्चन it says that uh, what is the output of the following program okay so x equals to 11 y equals to 5 and this is z okay so z equals to x modulo y so that is 11 modulo 5 so that is 1 so z equals to 1 okay and uh, w equals to x by y so w equals to x by y x equals to 11 by y equals to 5 so that will be 2.000 because w is a floating point number because uh, the format specified is percentage f so the value of w equals to 2.000 okay so option d is correct the value of z and w are 1 and 2.000 respectively okay so option d is correct in the question number 3 it says that uh, what will be the output okay so a equals to 4 b equals to 15 and c equals to 29 okay uh, it says that uh, if c greater than b greater than a so this is the condition c greater than b greater than a Let's evaluate uh, these conditions. Okay, so uh, c equals to 29 greater than 15 greater than 4. So 29 greater than 50, it is true. So the value will be 1. 1 greater than 4, it is false. Then the value of this whole expression will be 0. Okay, because it is false. So uh, we know that in C programming, so the value of false equals to 0 and uh, the value of true will be any non zero number or one okay so the value of this expression is zero so this code will not execute so the else part will execute so the output will be false so option b is correct in question number 4 it says that what will be the output of the following program okay so x equals to 10 logical or zero logical and 10 okay so 10 is a non zero number logical or zero so non zero logical or zero it will be 1 okay so the value of this expression is 1 and logical and 10 okay so 1 and logical and 10 this is also a non zero number okay the value of this expression will be 1 so x equals to 1 so the output of the following program will be 1 option d is correct in question number 5 x equals to 17 y equals to 1 okay so if x logical and y let's evaluate uh, this expression okay here x equal to 17 so not of x that will be zero because it is a non zero value so it is true so not of true always is false so the value of false in c programming is zero so that is zero so again if we put not value then it will be not of zero and not of zero equals to 1 so the value of this expression will be 1 this code will be executed uh, so it will printed 17 because x is a variable which contains the value 17 so 17 is the answer in question number 6 x equal to 7 y equals to 3 and z equals to 5 okay let's evaluate this expression x minus x by y into y modulo z 
we know that uh, associativity is used when two operators of same precedence appear in an expression. Division, multiplication and modulo are in the higher priority than this uh, subtraction operator. Okay, so the left part will be evaluated first than the right part. So now we evaluate the value of this expression and that is 7 minus 7 by 3 into 3 modulo 5. First 7 by 3 will be evaluated and the value will be 7 minus 2 into 3 modulo 5. Then this multiplication part will be evaluated. The value will be 7 minus 6 modulo 5. Then this modulo part will be evaluated and the value will be 1 and it will be 6. So option B is correct. In question number 7 it says that x equals to 11 plus 3 modulo 5 by 2. So if you evaluate this then it will be 14 modulo 5 by 2 and that is 4 by 2 and that is 2. So option C is correct. In question number 8 a equals to 3 b equals to 2 and it says that a equals to a b 0 this part will evaluate first so it will be 3 this is not true because 3 not equals to 2 but here it says that 3 equals to 2 so the value will be 0 and this is true so the value will be 1 so now the value of a is 1 okay so in the next step it says that print f a comma b okay so the value of a is equals to 1 and the value of b equals to 2 so 1 comma 2 is the answer option a is correct in question number 9 a equals to 0 b equals to 1 c equals to minus 1 if 0 then print iit kgp if 1 then print iitm and if minus 1 then print iit R. okay so in the first condition uh, it says that 0 so it is false so this code will not execute in the second condition it's it is 1 so this uh, code will be executed so iitm will be printed in the third condition it is minus 1 so also it is a non zero number so this code uh, will also be executed so iit r also print in the output Okay, option C is correct and uh, this means that to add a new line, okay, it will be IITM and in the next line it will print it IITR, okay. In question number 10, it says that X equals to 10 if 10 greater than 0 print F inside if else if. 10 greater than 0 inside LC. Okay. So the compiler will check this condition first. Okay. So 10 greater than 0. So obviously it is true. So the value will be 1. So this code will execute it. So inside if is printed. Okay. But uh, this code will not execute it because. Uh, so in the if and else if uh, statement only one condition will uh, execute so the compiler check this condition first and it is true inside if will only print it in the output sections okay so this inside else if will not print it so option a is correct
years I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah. I